probably it's only the Prime Minister that is trying to be here, as if Jan Saldive some way or the other is not involved with, with this case. Once again, once again, Jan Saldiva is disgracing this country. Um, that has happened several times by being associated with the wrong kind of persons. You know, we already know the issue, the unfortunate issue of Pastor um, Lou. And now here comes again, you know, with a massive fraudster that is locked up in the, in the United States. I think that um, the proverbial noose is tightening around um, Jan Saldiva and also around the neck of the Prime Minister who continues to try to, to defend uh, Jan Saldiva. Oh, and of course, uh, the Prime Minister's mini me, the, um, the Attorney General, you know, who tried to say, well, still, what, what, what's going on? No? And if the Prime Minister is trying to downplay this issue about the text messages, then we need to ask with ourselves, why is it that the Just Justice Department is fighting so hard to keep these tech messages as part of the evidence that they're presenting in the, um, in the U.S. courts in, in Utah? I think in Spanish, we have a simple word where we say, basta, you know, like, mm -hmm. enough. You know, we just fed up at this crowd. And the Prime Minister needs to act, and he needs to act now, and stop, defend all the wrongdoings that has happened under the most corrupt government this country has ever seen in its history. The Prime Minister needs to do the right thing. He needs to fire Jan Saldiva and Jan Saldiva from the cabinet. And then Jan Saldiva should do at least for the first time, do something right, which is to resign from the National Assembly as the representative of the good people of Belmopan. Sir, um, in the case of the beheading of Pastor Lowen and Lucas and the connection between Mason and John Saldiv, I think back then the Prime Minister had suspended him or put him aside until they carry out an internal investigation. Now, in this case, you think that should be done even though the contents of those text messages haven't been revealed as yet? Well, the contents of those text messages are going to be revealed more sooner um, than later, one. But two, if he wants to get to the bottom of it, as I said, all he needs is just to call John H. Huber from the Justice Department in Utah and said, we want to take a look at those documents. It may not be presented in the U.S. court, but it can be brought to Belize where then he can look at the text messages, he can look at the wire transfers, he can find out exactly which minister got 25,000 U.S. dollars a month for political favors. So if the Prime Minister is here, he can do something um, about it. In terms of the $25,000, PM Barrow said there is no law against camp, um, campaign financing. But, that, but there, was, would be that he lied to the there was no campaign going on at that time. This man was flying Jan Saldiva and, 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 and his, and his um, group, you know, his friends, um, all over the place in a private plane. And you need to ask yourself, why is this man doing this for Jan Saldiva? Because he's pretty? Because he looks good? Because he what? He's smart? It was simply because he was a minister in the UDP government.